Hello guys, welcome to another review on my channel. Today we are reviewing Opel Insignia 2.0 CDTi. When this car came out, the world went crazy about it and it became even a car of the year. And let's go around and see why. Personally, I'm not a fan of the design of this car, but generally of all cars from this age, like Ford Mondeo and Mazda 6. Uh, this was 2013 and it was the last year of production before facelift. And facelift uh, came with uh, some changes in a good way, but still it couldn't compare with uh, Passat B7 for me personally. On the side I have just one complaint. This here could be a hazard light implemented but it's not a big thing. Also the team with oddly shaped lines continues here to the back. The back of the car looks just fine and I don't have any complaints about it. I even like this ducktail spoiler here but it even gets better when you open this rear hatch. There is a ton of space here. Uh, only this roof line takes a little bit of it but you'll be satisfied believe me. Also uh, not so good thing is this very oddly shaped floor and things in the floor that will 100% get into the way when you are packing some large suitcases but you'll get used to that. Let's go now and check the interior. Interior is very nice and stylish and the seats are adjustable also, the steering wheel is adjustable, very adjustable and you can find the really easy, your perfect position. And when you find it, it's really nice to be in here, it feels really nice. Only thing I'm going to complain about is this center console, because large people like me uh, appreciate every bit of space in the cabin that we can get and it could be a little bit narrower so my leg will be much more comfortable here if it's a little bit narrower. There isn't too many buttons but for this age this interior is very very nice. Also only one, only one place that this plastic and interior feels cheap is this center this piece here of the armrest but the rest looks really nice and these materials also are very very nice and shifter is very short very precise you know it's a pleasure to use it and that's about it for the front let's go in the back in the back these seats are very comfortable and there is a ton of legroom only compliment here is this headroom there is just none of it because i'm six foot six foot four and i'm absolutely the tallest person that can sit in the back of this car nobody taller than me can sit actually here the great thing here is this 230 volt socket so you can basically get anything from your home and plug it in here and use it it's easier to charge your phones just great thing to have it and every car should have something like this let's go drive it and see how it drives there is not much to talk about driving experience of Opel Insignia. This car was built very good, it is like most of the stuff is copied from some other manufacturers that have successful cars in this category. This 2.0 liter diesel engine has enough power and torque to get quickly to every desired speed up to the speed limit. Small gear lever makes driving in the city much more interesting. I already said only thing that I would like is a little bit more space in the cabin because me at 6 foot 4 and like 200 pounds is the biggest thing that can fit inside the, this car and not like I'm very comfortable here, I just fit and conclusion this car is successor to the Opel Vector and uh, I totally get it why people went crazy from the boring Vector to something like uh, this that looks like totally overpriced Passat CC uh, I'll say one more thing uh, this uh, thing, uh, the Opel cars, depreciate much more than VW. So nowadays you can get this car for a very cheap money, you know, and that makes it available for the, uh, pretty much everyone. So now I believe that is a good time to go and buy something like this. Until the next one, 